guys, Curve MC here. This will be the first video in a while, which I apologize about. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a vanilla server for Minecraft 1.7.2 on Mac. So the first step is to open up whatever was whatever web browser you are going to use, and type in Minecraft.net. Once that loads up, you're going to see this little thing down here. It says, already bought the game. Download it here. Right there. So you're going to click on download it here. Once you're there, you're going to see Minecraft for Mac OS X. So you're going to go down here under multiplayer server and download the Minecraft server 1.7.2.jar. So that should go to your downloads. While that's downloading, you can go ahead and go to your desktop and create a new folder. You can call it whatever you want. In this instance, I'm just going to call it server. And clean up. Okay, so you're going to drag Minecraft server 1.7.2.jar into the server folder. Once you've done that, you're going to open up the folder and open the file and press OK. Open with jar launcher. Okay. I'm just gonna quick type in my password and stuff which I'm going to bleep out just for privacy purposes. Okay. So now you'll see all these these files starting to develop. These are all your options, your server properties, your whitelist, all that good stuff. So you see that this is this window pops up. It's called Minecraft server. This is going to be the console. And if any of you want to find, you know, if you want me to tell you how to get rid of this and make it so your default server window is terminal then just comment but in this case I'm just gonna leave it as this so once you have this generated you're gonna type slash stop which basically just saves it every time you're gonna close your server make sure you t type stop because otherwise you will your stuff won't be saved so instead of port forwarding I like to use a thing called port map which saves the hassle so gonna download you're gonna go to your web browser again you're gonna type port map coding monkey and this link will be in the description as well will the minecraft.net link so you're gonna see this website it looks like a scroll you're gonna go down until you see this little window here and you're gonna download the application which is underlined and written in blue so once once that downloads, you're done with your web browser, so you can just exit it out. And I'm going to minimize that window. So you're going to open up Port Map. I'm going to drag it to my desktop and clean up and open. And again, I'm going to bleep out my name for privacy purposes and I'm going to bleep out the IP at the top also because it is my personal IP address for most of you it should show up as a well you'll just see so you're gonna go ahead and press this little plus down here gonna go ahead and click that and once you do that you're gonna see all these little settings your local port for all the for these ports you're gonna type in 25565 which is just a default port which really doesn't matter much it's just for the logistics description I'm just gonna type server tutorial and for the reference string just leave that blank and press add mapping so once you have that up you are pretty much done so 
we're going to go to the server. We're going to start up our server using the Minecraft server.jar and make sure you know the password for your port map. So once you have that down, you're going to go into multiplayer and you can either add it as a server or direct connect. I'm just going to direct connect because I'm not going to use the server. So so make sure you know the IP. You're going to plug it in and press join server. Oh, I'm stupid, sorry. Wrong IP. Okay, sorry. There we go. Here we go. And now you see that I'm in the game and I'm <coughs> lagging. I'm sorry. So I'm going to turn my render distance down. But there, that's your server is made. So before I quite wrap this up, I'm going to show you how to um uh like do some simple settings and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize Minecraft for a second. Minimize all this jazz and go into server properties. So this is basically the main settings thing. You can change the nether, you can change the seed, you can player mounts, and it's just really cool. So I'm not going to change anything right now, S but if you were to want to import a downloaded world or a world you built, you would just simply delete this file called world then drag in the folder of the world that you would like to use then after you do that you you would open the server properties go under the level name and instead of world replace it with the name of your of the folder you dr dragged into the uh, server folder and that's how you change the world and that's basically it if you want to give yourself creative from the console you can either type this slash game mode zero for survival one for creative and two for adventure mode I'm gonna set mine to creative then put the desired username and press enter so once you're in the game, then it shows up that you are in creative mode. And if you want to give somebody op, which means they can do all these commands in game, you would simply do slash op, then the username of the person. And that's that's it. Now you have your 1.7.2 vanilla Minecraft server. Please leave any questions in the comments and I will try to answer to the best of my ability and that's it so thank you all for watching and I will see you next time